Google does a fairly good job at keeping bloatware off its Pixel phones. That is, as long as you don't consider Google's own applications to be bloated. The company is more than happy to make sure you have its calendar, web browser, navigation maps, photo gallery, and more front and center when you begin using the device. But not everyone wants these pre-installed apps on their smartphone. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how you can disable and uninstall these first-party system apps from the Google Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro. The first method is the easiest and it simply involves disabling the applications that you don't want running in the background. To do this, we can either find the icon for the app that we want to disable and perform a long press gesture on it. So if, for example, we don't want the Google Chrome browser active on our device, we can bring up the app info page by doing a long press gesture on the icon and then tapping this little eye icon right here. And again, you can also find this page by opening up the settings app, selecting the apps option, and then finding the Chrome browser in the list of apps there. Now we can then tap the disable button from this page and confirm that we really do not want this application running on our device by selecting the disable app button right here. This will not only remove all of the data that the application uses, but it will also prevent it from running in the background as a service. Since this is the easiest method of getting rid of pre-installed apps, this is the first thing that I recommend people do for applications that they don't want running on their Pixel 7 or Pixel 7 Pro. But sadly, we aren't given this disable option for all of the pre-installed bloatware apps on this device. So the second method that I recommend is using ADB and Fastboot tools to uninstall the system apps for the default user. Now this method is a bit more complex, but it is still relatively easy to do. So we can see that the disable button is grayed out for the Google Messages app. But if you're happy with using a third party solution for this, then it shouldn't hurt your phone to remove it if you don't want it on your device. Before we can un uninstall it from the default user account, we first need to install ADB and Fastboot tools on a desktop or laptop computer. We also need to enable USB debugging mode on the Pixel 7 or Pixel 7 Pro so that the phone can properly connect to the PC and so those commands can be run without any errors. If you're not familiar with how to install ADB and Fastboot tools or if you're not familiar with enabling USB debugging mode, then you'll find links to previous videos that I've done covering those topics in the description below. And that will show you all of the required steps to get that up and running. Now we also need to install an application from the Google Play Store that will tell us the package name for the apps on your phone. These are free in the Google Play Store. And I'll be linking to the app I'm using here down below with the others that I just mentioned. So using one of the free package name apps from the Play Store, find the package name of the application you want to uninstall. In this example, it is the Google Messages app. And we can find the package name is com dot google dot android dot apps 
dot messaging. Now once we have all of that set up, we need to then open up a command prompt, a Windows PowerShell, or a terminal window in the same folder as those ADB and Fastboot tools. And we also need to connect our Pixel 7 or Pixel 7 Pro to the PC using a USB cable. Once we have that prompt up, again, within the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot files, we then need to drop into a shell prompt by executing the command ADB space shell. Now, if you have everything set up correctly, you're going to see us go from one prompt to another. Since we have our Pixel 7 Pro connected to the PC with a USB cable. Once we are in this ADB shell prompt, we then need to type out the command pm space uninstall space dash k space dash dash user space zero space and then at the end here we need to type out the package name for the application you want to uninstall. Remember we're going to be using the Google Messages app as an example here. So that package name is com.google.android.apps.messaging with that entire command typed out, we can then press enter on the keyboard. And if everything was done correctly, you should see a success message appear right there before you are dropped back down into another ADB shell prompt. We can look back at the phone after seeing that message to confirm that the application icon is no longer there. We can look for it in the application drawer. You can see the messages application is no longer there. We can even go in the settings application, finding the app in this application list here to check and make sure that this application is no longer installed for this user. If you see this message here, that means the application has been uninstalled for your default user account. It cannot be ran and it will not be allowed to run in the background either. So today I have detailed two different ways that you can get rid of pre-installed bloatware system apps from the Google Pixel 7 and Pixel 7 Pro smartphones. This process will also work with last year's Pixel 6 series and it will even work on the upcoming mid-range Google smartphone likely to be called the Pixel 7a. If you ever find yourself needing to reinstall the apps that we just removed here today, you can either enable them again from the app info page that I showed you in the settings app, or you can execute a install existing command using ADB to reinstall those for the default user account. I have covered this reinstall existing command in a separate video as well, which you'll find linked in the video description below.